The building's all in place and all good, and uh, so is our first, Cheryl Healy, who is the first, uh, riding Anna C. Winner of the uh, 1 meter 5 Grand Prix last year. Yes, yeah, all very good indeed. 32.53. Sets the very early standard, Cheryl Healy and uh, Anna C. Time allowed in the first phase is 56 seconds. Went round there in 49.29. Samantha Baker next. Uh, so, in fact, that was Olivia Carroll in time van der Nachtigale at 204, the number there. Uh, it is now Cheryl Healy, Anna C. Thirty nine sixty six and a total of eight for Cheryl. Uh, now it's Samantha. Let's go to Samantha Baker with Downtown Disco. Took 14th in the 1 meter 5 uh, Grand Prix qualifier. That was the first qualifier yesterday. Samantha Baker now followed by Richard Baker.
Great round, 27.97. Into the lead at this uh, early stage, Samantha Baker and Downtown Disco. Remember, the top 30 will qualify as of right from this uh, first qualifier. Uh, Richard Baker next to go then. It's Samantha Baker's horse and it is Stand Aside. Double clear, 32.52 for Richard Baker, stand aside. Second, Samantha Baker leading, Richard Baker second. Olivia Carroll, the other double clear at this stage. Uh, in third place, Lucinda Stewart rides at Con, Con 3. Rider who uh, run the amateur small and uh, amateur large tour at Dinor in France. Con Lucinda Stewart. Twelve, the final score for Lucinda Stewart in the second phase with Con 3. All so far have gone through uh, to the second phase. Rachel Horton's next. Kidella du Reverdi, this one. Took third podium position in the amateur 1 meter 10 Grand Prix uh, qualifier yesterday evening. Kidella du Reverdi.
Best time we've seen so far, 25.05, by far the best time. Uh, but it's one down, four for Rachel Horton. Sits in fourth. Charlie Munro next. Camiro Z, been a great servant and a great campaigner for her. And she had a double clear yesterday in the 1m5 Grand Prix. Successful in the uh, Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships in the past. Oh, Charlie, I'm sure that winded you. Hope you're okay. Good, good to see the thumbs up from Charlie Monroe and uh, Camiro Z. Double clear in the 1m5 Grand Prix qualifier and the 1m10 Grand Prix qualifier yesterday. Uh, for this combination, Georgina Shrubshaw Justice, cruise on Barco. Uh, eight, the score for Georgina Shrubshaw Justice this time. First and last in the first phase, total of eight. Casanova now. That's the horse, by the way. It's Rosie Bennett's right. Casanova.
Uh, four faults, 52, one, two there for Rosie Bennett. No Katie Shaw. This is Claire Miller who is underway now. Uh, just about to start her round with KS's Revive B. Four faults, 50.46 times may be crucial for the lower placings. Remember the top 30 to qualify in this one. Tagatha Payne is next to go. The Maharani is the ride. Went well last year in the A.W. Jenkinson Challenge. This year it's the uh, Hazelden 1m15 challenge. Twenty-eight forty-four and four for Tagatha Payne. Uh, the Maharani moves into fifth place. Just three double clears so far. Uh, that's not too shabby a time. Time was good enough for second, uh, Tagatha, but uh, the fourth fence down drops you to fifth. Uh, State of Independence is a ride for Anna de Vatai. Another one for the uh, very busy Anna de Vatai. Thirty-seven two zero total of twelve for Anna de Vitae and State of Independence. That's in the second phase, of course, and it's currently into eighth place. Uh, twelve now have been William Utopia. To, no, William Utopia uh, for Samantha Sellers, who owns and rides. 
Saw them competing in the uh, one metre ten Grand Prix qualifier yesterday. Went well. Took their qualification. Thirty point three zero four in the second phase for Samantha Sellers. Uh, that's sixth with William Utopia. Top thirty take qualification. Ella Jones rides back in action. She is. She's back in action. Thirty-two zero seven, not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. It's second for Ella Jones and uh, back in action, pushing Richard Baker down to third. Olivia Carroll now fourth. Rachel Horton fifth, and Tag of the Pain in sixth. Extreme Van der Neerheide. This one, another one that uh, was very successful here at the Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships last year. That was in the uh, A. W. Jenkinson uh, Challenge. Leona Urquhart. It is Extreme Van der Neerheide.
It's Victoria Jenner underway. The Hazel Den uh, 1 meter 15 challenge. You see their trade stand, of course, on the far side, the far side uh, from the ground jury box. Victoria Jenner well underway. Final fence down, it's set four. 53, three, six, four faults. Haley Lewis, Katu van der Platello. This one uh, had a very successful trip yesterday. Fifth in the uh, 95 centimetre Grand Prix qualifier. That was earlier on this morning as well. Haley Lewis, Katu van der Platello. Eight for Haley Lewis. Second fence and the uh, very final fence as well. 49.36. Hannah Tiley rides Amaryllis. It's the next, it's the 17th um, course in the Hazel Den 1 meter 15 challenge. Sixth yesterday in the 1 meter 10 qualifier. Good time, 27.80, second fastest at four fault time and Hannah Tiley goes in to sixth place. Still just four double clear rounds. Uh, one of those double clears belongs to the net man and it's uh, Sussex based Richard Baker who comes with his second ride. This is his own queen.
Eight faults this time, currently sitting in third with stand aside, but it's eight faults. 55-65 this time. Again, times may be crucial for lower placings. Another one for Katie Bembo. What a couple of days she's had so far. Several top placings, a couple of wins as well. Fearless De Nova, this one for the Hopkinson family and David Hopkinson Limited, Katie Bembo. Well, Mr. Jerk a little bit to the final fence, but it's uh, all good nonetheless for Katie Bembo. Could it be another win? Uh, Fearless down over into the lead, 27.57. Samantha Baker pushes down to second. Samantha in once again. This time her second ride, Karim. Elimination, I'm afraid. Involuntarily jumping that one uh, rather backwards. It's uh, uh, Samantha, it was elimination. The bell had gone as well. It's elimination. Samantha Baker and uh, Karim. Rachel Horton is currently in sixth place. That's with... Uh, Kidel de Revedi. It's another one of hers now, the 14-year-old uh, Bob, Carnival uh, de la Ferme Blanche. You can see why it's called Bob from uh, Wiltshire is Rachel Horton.
flyer over the last great line back to the first in the second phase uh 24 65 that was brilliant and it's into the lead for rachel horton carnival de la ferme blanche first and now seventh uh, with kidel de Revedi. Brilliant lines there. You've taken uh, over three seconds off Katie Bembo's time, and she was sharp. Erica Watson's next to go. New leading time, 24.65. Can Erica Watson chase it? Imagine blue. Eight jumping faults set seven from the clock as well. Total of fifteen. That in the first phase for Erica Watson. Imagine Boo. Blel Ragazzo is uh, the rider Frankie Jervis who owns and rides. Ten years of age, this one. Continues on the hunting uh, as well with the North Staffordshire hunt as well with this one for the lady from Staffordshire, Rougely, Frankie Jervis. Eight for Frankie Jervis and Bel Regazzo. Cultus Candy, this is uh, Natalie Devlin. Another regular here at uh, the Dodson and Horrell National Amateur and Veteran Championships. This the nine-year-old, Cultus Candy, for the uh, lady from Ayrshire. Qualified for uh, several competitions at the Royal Highland Show during the course of 2016. Qualified for the Silver League semi-finals this year as well.
31 8 0 and uh, 4 for Natalie Devlin, Coulter's Candy. Uh, it's good enough to go into 11th place, top 30 to qualify, uh, with, uh, well, around 12 left, maybe. Uh, you're guaranteed your qualification. Uh, that's not Laura Lambert. She's not here. It's Michael Baker, who is the next then. Vancouver MH, Samantha Baker's horse. First part of the double at eight, 52.06. It's uh, four for Michael Baker. Making the journey from uh, Chesterfield, Julia Hardy. Speedly Equestrian Centre's Gisabella van der Uderbosch. Seven years of age, known as Lady in the Stable. Still leading Rachel Horton. Will that be beaten? 24.65. Thirty point eight seven. Let there be light. Fourth place for Julia and uh, Gisabel van der Uderbosch. Uh, Speedly question centres horse. That one into fourth. Lucinda Stewart. Another one uh, from Scotland, from South Ayrshire. This is Cancun the second.
28-4-0. That one moves into fourth place for Lucinda Stewart with uh, a double clear with Cancun. Bellatrix, the next one. Fifth in the uh, National Amateur. One metre five Grand Prix first qualifier. That was yesterday. We'll see them in that Grand Prix on Sunday. Leonie Jones, Bellatrix. A 25.81 four for Leonie Jones and Bellatrix. Kate Pullen, Bentley the third. Got around uh, eight or nine left in this uh, Hazel Den uh, one meter fifteen challenge again. Their trade stand you can see on the far side from the judges box. Great supporters as ever here at all the major shows at uh, Aintree International Equestrian Centre. Kate Pullen underway. Bentley. Four jumping faults, six from the clock as well. In fact, there's just five left. That's all in this Hazel Den at one meter fifteen challenge, this first qualifier. Anya Brown, the next one with Peter Hatton's Lionheart.
That's a double clear. 27.91 is uh, not too bad a time at all. And it's into third for Lionheart and Anya Brown. Rachel Horton, Katie Bembo, Anya Brown. The one, two, three with Samantha Baker, Lucinda Stewart and Julia Hardy rounding out the top six, top 30 to qualify. No Megan Bristow, so it's Miranda Wint. Just first of uh, four with Luna Air. This an eight-year-old known as Kizzy. Twenty-eight forty-five, four faults, four for Miranda Wint and uh, Luna Air. Condor the third, double clear yesterday, and they want me to five Grand Prix that qualifier. They'll need another double clear, a top placing in the second qualifier tomorrow. But it's the Hazelden one meter fifteen challenge now. Sophie Curry, Condor. <laughs> 